So here we go. Looks like Miami was the place to be this past weekend. It was lit lit y'all. Everyone and their mama was out for the Super Bowl including what appeared to be the entire quality control roster. Quality control music or QC through their second annual stripper bowl at the Dome in Miami for Super Bowl weekend the other night. $1 million was supposed to be thrown along with hella paper for the dancers, but it looks like this was a bit of cap. Kind of like when you turn your cap sideways on your head, you know, like a slight cap, right? So it's looking like the strippers want all the smoke. Dollar bills flooded the floor but an alleged contract revealed that none of the strippers were able to take it home per se, right? The dancers supposedly signed a contract stating that they had to be fully clothed at all times. The strippers also supposedly allegedly only got $350 each as the artist only threw about 177,000. They did end up getting 1,100 each after being fed up but it seems they had to pay like 300 just to be in the building initially. So that's like, what, $700? 13 hours in that place, only to get $1,100. Now, let me stop saying $1,100, $750. They done lost their goddamn mind. P them know they wrong. They know they wrong. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. As unfortunate as it is, it appears the actual contract wasn't agreements made on behalf of quality control though. QC CEO Pierre P hit the gram to clear the air and make it clear that they don't do contracts with the dancers, but the venues themselves. And this entire thing was not in his control. And that makes sense and sounds reasonable, especially if you're an out of towner. I severely doubt QC came to another city just to scam the people. That doesn't make sense and it's not a smart or good move. So P said, to all the dancers that were at the party last night, please understand that we don't own clubs or venues. We don't control or make the rules of how many girls dance, who split or pay out, how much money gets stolen. I personally know a lot of money has been thrown between our camp. And you all know this, we don't do contracts with dancers. Sorry for any confusion that went on, but that's out of our control. Based on the clips that y'all see, he wasn't lying about the amount of money being thrown. But aside from all this, man, it's a dope concept. They killed it last year in Atlanta at Gold Room. We had the footage on the channel that went stupid, so check it out. And we can't wait until the one that comes next year. So subscribe, like, and share the videos so we can get our paper up and we can go and get you exclusive content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff that I just said. Stay tuned for more news. Out. It was a process where you had to go through and go through like writing the people and then they'll text you the confirmation and you some girls were saying they had the audition. I didn't have the audition, so I just went up there, paid my money and whatever got in. So some girls was like they had to come and work at another club for a couple of hours, pay their tip out and then come to another club. Like they had to work, I think they said four hours at some other club down here for them to be able to work at the QC party. So everybody complaining, we had to do this, we had to do that. I'm sitting back, cause I ain't have to do none of that. Like I just had to send a text message and post a flyer, basically, whatever. So, we got down, post the flyer, but I think like, like, we get up there, 10 o'clock, we sign some papers. On the paper, it says, we go-go dancing, don't get nude. The um, go-go dancers are paid a set fee. So, that was on the paper, a set fee. So, they already knew what they was going to give us.
Joey Barge, you bitch. <laughs> Joey Barsha, bitch.